So it seems like uh, one out of two people running for president. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, two of them. Moving along. So my background, I uh, got uh, <coughs> my PhD from the University of Alberta. I was uh, ten years at the University of Connecticut. I was uh, working in tree biomechanics. Uh, interactions be between the atmosphere and the fourth canopy, but I gave up that uh, wonderful life and I came to Michigan Tech, and I I now have a really interesting position. I'm a um, professor of practice, but I'm also uh, th that goes around. I do a lot of extension work, but it's really extension work with industry, and so I I um, and I'm also the executive director of the Michigan Forest Biomaterials Institute. So. Um, so in, I do industry relations so with uh, forest, not just the forest industry, but auto, furniture, uh, work on, think about social license between the forest industry and the community and the forest bioeconomy. I think, uh, right, wait for this next slide. So when we think about the forest bioeconomy, sort of big picture, so my job is to bring a lot of research opportunities that I find out about um, with industry back to Michigan Tech and I'm trying to connect our, our vast, our wonderful forest resources with some of the under, other industries that we have in our state like plastics, um, bioplastics, forest based feedstocks, uh, the automotive industry looking at carbon fiber from waste from pulp and paper industry going into uh, lightweight in cars and of course our uh, office and uh, industrial furniture looking at how we can manage and help their recycling. We're working on a project with Joshua Pierce on that, 3D printing their waste back into products. So, and before I run out of time, I'm also working on how do we, how do we start designing and creating a formal academic program here at Tech that works across all of these schools and colleges to uh, have a structured academic program in, in forced biomaterials. Thanks.